yourself! You think you have opened the doors to my fort? Well, you are wrong. For 30 years, that voice has haunted for Boyard. I have a surprise for you. Every year, a famous TV game show is shot behind these walls. In the spring, the fort comes out of hibernation to prepare the new season. For two weeks, the production team, builders and technicians are busy finalizing the sets. 120 people are hard at work. There are even volunteers who act as guinea pigs for the new challenges. It's great. We watch it on TV all the time, and to be here for real, actually being able to play the games, it's just awesome. I feel like a kid again. That's true, except we're standing in for the stars who will do it for real. Each season, there are new challenges, new games designed over the previous months. Emily will be testing one of them today. Keep going as far as you can to at least 50 centimeters from the end, okay? And if you fall off, you'll come up via this ladder. The entire production team watches the first tests. It will allow them to adjust the level of the different challenges. In general, we need a dozen test runs until we find an acceptable level of difficulty. Behind the fort is a platform that viewers never see. It's the only access to the monument. All the material and personnel are hoisted up by crane. And that includes the big cats. Every year, three tigers take over the fort. For the tamers, it's always the same routine. Is he a fort regular? The three of them have been regulars at the fort for at least eight or nine years. I can't remember the exact year they started. The three tigers are genuine movie stars. Life of Pi. Jean Jacques knows two brothers. They were the stars. For these tigers that travel the world, the fort has become something of a second home. It is vacation home. And yet, faced with criticism over the use of wild animals, the producers have announced that they'll soon be going into retirement. But the other stars of the game show will remain. Passepartout and Passemuraille are also fan favorites. They've been at the fort for 32 and 22 years, respectively. This is the ketchup factory. Ketchup factory. Long live the tomato. Do you get to try out the cells? Yes, but discreetly. Don't tell Father for us. He doesn't know. It's our secret. They run for miles without ever speaking. They also appear in foreign versions of the show. Production companies from 35 different countries have already visited the fort. Lebanese, Americans. Well done, But also Turks, Russians, and Koreans. Let's rewind to 1988 when the producer, Jacques Antoine, took a huge gamble. He bought this rundown fort and had it restored to host a TV game show. At first, it was called the Keys to Faux Boyard. It was an immediate hit. No one in the courtyard, please. All hide at the back, thank you. The decades have passed. Set rolling. But the recipe that made the show a success has stayed the same. That really makes sense, what you're doing. Don't make me laugh. 45 seconds. The images from each camera are recorded in a studio hidden in the fort. At the controls is the director. 
He watches a bank of screens to see what each of the 12 camera operators are filming. Everyone has to hide. There are between 130 and 140 people on set every day, and I mustn't see anyone other than the host and the contestants. That's a big challenge. A uh, very big one. The men and women assigned to 35 different jobs in the fort move fast. It takes eight hours to shoot the show. Each of the season's shows must be shot within two weeks. <laughs> the crew will be back next year, drawn like limpets to this rock in the sea.